Alright guys, so welcome back. Now, it's a pretty cold day today. It's end of November. This is definitely the last trip I'm gonna make out on the kayak, so you know, I wanna try and make it happen. I'm headed over to uh, Dan's area. You know, he's been doing pretty good. He may not have been posting as many videos, but he's definitely doing pretty good over there. And you know, it's always nice to meet up with him, hang out, fish. I haven't done that this fall, so I'm gonna make the trip over there for the last session here. Yeah, it's definitely reading like 26 degrees now. I think getting up to like 45. So let's see what happens. Look at this. Uh, this is cold. 27. 27. But yeah, this will only be for blackfish. Um, pretty sure we're not gonna see much else. You may see some birds working or stripers in the distance or something, but. I think we'll probably focus on blackfish. Let's go over the area where I was doing well. All right, let's do that. Because no one will bother us there. All right. Especially if we get there first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to anchor. I'm gonna move around a little bit. I think Dan's gonna stay still. If he starts catching, I'll go mug him. I don't think there's much current right now though. Pretty sure it's a half ounce or a five eighths. I'm only using, this is 20 pound, 20 pound line, and eight pound test braid. Oh, it bites immediately. Oh, it's way too loose of a drag. Yeah. Cleaned already. Oh, some big crabs in here. You know, these green ones don't have as hard of a shell. Alright. They're everywhere. Nice little male. I don't think he's measurable. I got one. This is a crab we want. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that claw. Let's save that claw for later. Alright, I anchored up because I got broke off. I don't want to keep drifting as I have to retie. Alright, let's try. Let's try to reestablish this bite. Nice. Dan's got a keeper. I hear ya. Oh man, such a subtle bite. It's such a subtle bite, man. I can't even tell that they have it sometimes. I'm fixing a really light shape too, so. Yeah. I think this is like a I think five eighths or three quarter. Yeah, swim up with it again. Oh, better fish. Yeah. Alright, I got my first measurable fish. 
Ooh, this one's almost 16. Almost, almost dude. He's 15 and a half. Don't want to put a knot in the leader. Definitely not fighting as hard. Temperature's 49 degrees. Dan's getting some good ones. Oh. Really? Wow. Oh. Uh, nice little female. I mean, those those almost 16 inches fight really good too. Yeah, muscle, you know? yeah very dense. It did blow me in a better position, but I'm not like getting the same amount of bites as you. Okay. Yeah, if you want to just go to the back and just drop down, you'll be good. All right. Just. I'll try to hold for a second. Let's see. Oh yeah, you definitely have fish under your boat. Tiny. Yeah. What do you? What weight are you using? Oh uh, yeah. You are. Dude, like, I'm telling you, that was the lightest pickup. That was the lightest pickup. That might be a decent. Uh, not bad. He's probably. A little short. Well, there's a lot of them down here. That's a good sign. That was the softest take. I'm telling you, that was so crazy. No. Nah. I was worried our buddy would see me with those fish. So he gave me some huge crabs on this last batch. Yeah. I'm gonna throw the underwater down in a second. Let's see how. Oh. It wasn't like that big one was right away. Like, I had to work for it. Yeah. Like, I was working that tide cycle for a good two hours. Certain spots just require more time. It was this time of the Oh, man. Like, the day before you came up. I think it just depends on the type of pieces that you're fishing. Like, where I am, I sometimes fish these patches that are so tiny that, you know, it would take a lot of activity i think in order to like call fish from other distant areas so it's like once i you know kind of understand what's on that little patch then i'm then i'm good but this dude this is a massive like you these fish can travel all over the place yeah yeah oh nice Cleaned me. Let's throw the underwater camera down. Let's see what's down there. All right, guys. So I didn't do too much underwater. You may have noticed I was doing it a little bit before when I was anchored. 
and I took a quick look at the footage and saw that just the clarity wasn't great. So I didn't do all that much, but I was very curious to see what the action was right below us when we were together. And yeah, you're seeing a couple fish, definitely a good amount of fish. Uh, not swarms of fish, but you know maybe there could be um, in the area just you know a lot more fish. Hard to see. But you know this is a good spot. You know the rocks are tightly packed. Uh, we're not that deep. It's only about 20 feet. So yeah, this is a really good spot. But we were getting a very consistent bite, even though you're not really seeing lots and lots of blackfish. There were a lot down there, and I think um, there were a lot moving around. There's there they come and go, uh, just because of the size of of this area that we're fishing. And the bite, as I was talking about, was just so light. There were very slight pickups. It was very hard to tell sometimes when they were on. Uh, and you're kind of seeing it here in this behavior. Uh, the fish were just moving slower. And I think the water temps had something to do with that. Ooh. Nice, man. <laughs> Look at your rod. Yeah. That was a whole piece, so it took a while for It's a small one. Oh. Now I'm just gonna give you this. If you can just put that in your, yeah, like, like that. It's probably tight enough. It's, that's fine. It, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Thanks. Ooh, where's Sharp Tap? Oh man, they cleaned me out. <laughs> so, you're so fast. Like I'm, I'm think I'm being too patient sometimes. I'm trying to be wait, wait, wait for that like right bite. Yeah, it's a different bite today for sure. Fourteen inches. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Maybe fifteen. All right. So you did some research on the bow mount a little bit. Oh, nice. Uh, just a little. I mean, the amount of like ease it puts. Nice. Get to some of those spots, like, so much less breath than your drive. Yeah. And the battery has lasted us, so... It was even more than that. But it was similar. That was a pretty strong current. So like a school of them comes through the river maybe or? They'll even be there, just the bite is off, you know? Oh! Very good. All right. Awesome fish though, they're just beautiful. That was, that was cool when you did that too. There's no one there. My friends keep sending me pictures of the fish catcher. Let's try that. Yeah, they definitely did. The current should be slacking right now, or soon. And the weather wasn't great. Yeah, the kids, oh, just sitting on it. Nice, that looks good. Oh. Just sitting on it. Yeah, it feels maybe a keeper. Dude. 
Dude, I'm telling you, I just like guessed on that hook set. Whoa, big one, big one, big one. Oh. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, that's a keeper. Look at that. Nice big female. Seventeen. Nice. Yeah. yeah, we're doing all right. I got one. Good idea to have two of you together. Yeah. It's definitely cold. Definitely dry suit weather. Yeah, no. Alright, uh, yeah, if you guys want to grab your licenses out. Sure. If you don't want to really mess up, you can tip you over. Okay. It's in here. I'll, I'll, can I just throw you this? Yeah, if you want to. I think it's easier, right? If, yeah, yeah, you'll see my registration and stuff too. Right yeah, this is this is the one. I just got him. I didn't even put him on the stringer yet. Here. How are those guys doing over there? Uh, we've only seen one keeper out of all the boats. Besides you guys, you guys actually are smoking everything. <laughs> yep. He's still alive. Be careful. Uh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Then we're gonna come on the other side. And wait. Okay. I'll put your uh, dry bag in the bucket. Okay, thanks. Got it. Cool? Yeah. Here, I'll give you your bucket back. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming out and checking. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. If anyone asks me, you can't try anything. <laughs> nice. These fish didn't miss a beat, man. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna do something like that, too. I really wish those guys would be more prevalent. Go, we always come here when it's windy and cold, man. <laughs> this place has like some bittersweet memories so far. <laughs> like good fishing, but just yeah. numb feet. <laughs> Yeah. Dude. These fish are, yeah. Man. The, the bite you think is the right bite is not the right bite. The right bite is when you, you just don't feel anything. This is, this is a, for 49 degree water temperatures, this is a pretty good bite. I'm very surprised. Yeah, it did. Yeah, no. 
<laughs> the porgies be out. By November, some of the porgies have thinned out. So it's like a mix. Oh man. Look at that rod bend. It's hard. It's actually hard to find big porgies in the summer. Yeah. I don't really find too many. Wow. Yeah, either that or I fouled somebody. I think I fouled them. If, yeah, it's foul. Let's try the whole crab combo. Just like that. Uh, well, that that's available too. Um, that spot's really good. It's not as much structure as the other thing back here. It's a bigger fish in the there. Oh, dude, again. Another nice one on a subtle, subtle take. Oh, man. This is a good one. Really? Oh, man. Double good ones. Yeah. Oh, man. This is a keeper. Double keepers? Double keepers. Nice male. Choked it. Keeper. Wow. This is a bonanza. Look. Dang, man. <laughs> Look at that. Let me see. Nice. My jig is missing. Oh. <laughs> I think mine's like gonna be similar to the last one, like a 17. Is yours like an 18, 19 inch fish? Little over 19? Wow. That's a stud. Mine is... Mine is actually just like 16 and a half. Yeah. Love that yellow color. Oh, nice. You just spit the jig. Dude, you're right, though. Just You just keep waiting and waiting on the same spot. These big ones are rolled through. This isn't like a normal spot, though. It's like, yeah. This is a fishable area. So, like, we're just getting the fish. They're finally, like, the They're just cutting through around and whatever, and we're catch intercepting them, in a sense. That's awesome. You got your limit. Late November limit, man. December is next weekend, right? That's crazy. How did you, what was your crab? I, I think I did a whole crab on that one. Small piece. So yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. It's like, if they come through, they come through and they'll bite it. Wow, it's true. This is such good fishing right now. It's one after another back here. Okay. I think she's gonna be a little short. That one was a classic bite. That one took the jig and swam away. Yeah, yeah 15 and a half. They totally don't want that shell on though. Or at least if it's like a if it's like a soft green one, I can leave the shell on like a hole, but those red ones, gotta take the shell off. They're so funny sometimes. There could conceivably be like a 24 inch fish down there. <laughs> that would be something else. If, there, if there's one that big around here. Ooh. At 25 inches, you're getting near 10 pounds. Eight and a half, that's it? 
there's no way I would be able to bring that in with my rod. Yeah, we definitely shifted now. It's crazy. Yeah, the current's definitely going out now. All right, guys, so headed in. It's a good day, really good day. Yeah, we caught them early in that beginning of the tide when it was, you know, coming in and then kind of slacked at high tide. That was like the best bite. And then kind of swung off our position once the tide changed, bite slowed. So we kind of wandered around, we found a couple here and there, but you know, that was it. So headed in, just glad to be taking two fish home, you know, this late in the season, it's really nice. A big thanks to Dan for showing me the spot. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, just looking forward to, you know, next season. Got a lot planned, so stay tuned for that. But looks like this will be the last day for, you know, the 2023 season. And it was good. Can't complain one bit. Excellent, excellent season. So thankful for the season. Thankful for you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.